Hi guys, today we are going over coastal grandmother style. And I am very excited about this one because it's grand millennials auntie. We're gonna call it that. <laughs> it is kind of a play on the grand millennial style. However, it is like the subdued version. So if you liked it, but were like, I just can't really embrace that level of that style, but I like touches of that style. I like the history and just some of the ambiance of grand millennial style. Then I think the coastal grandmother style will really intrigue you because this is a much more sophisticated version of the grand millennial style. And today I'm going to go over it for you. All right, let's dive in. So what I found really interesting about this style is that it was born on TikTok. I know. I thought that was really, really interesting that this style came from social media, which I mean, a lot of design styles start from interesting places. And I think this one is just kind of takes the cake though. So what do you need to know about this style? So this style really blends together blue and white color palettes with that cable knit and linen look. So visually, I would say if you know Martha Stewart and her style, think Martha Stewart, that's kind of like the embodiment of the coastal grandmother style. So the coastal grandmother style is about utilizing what you have available to you in the form of heirlooms, very similar to our grand millennial style that we talked about previously and mixing it with elements that encourage relaxation and calm. And I think that's what I, I think this style will lend itself to more people. It has a lot more of a calmer vibe to it than the grand millennial style. So what I find really interesting, and I think I should do a video talking about this, let me know below if you want me to talk about where I think the maximalist grand millennial, like this look has really evolved from because it's something that we're seeing post pandemic is these very almost nostalgic and safe, very comfortable spaces seems to be where the trends are, you know, going. And I definitely think there's a lot more behind that, but this is kind of adding on to that comfortable vibe that we've really, you know, been embracing for the last little while. Before I go any further, I just wanted to share with you guys something that I've been working on in the background, and that is actually developing a course. The course is going to be about the design process and the philosophy around this course is to really give you the tools to design your space and, you know, get a tidbit into what the pros learn. So if you think this is something that would be of interest to you or somebody, you know, I am in the very beginning stages, but I'd love to get a comment below. Just if you think that's something that would be of value, if you think it's interesting, if you would be, you know, if you think that would be something that would be worthwhile. So what's interesting from an aesthetic standpoint, when you're just talking about the two different styles, grand millennial versus coastal grandmother style, they do kind of sound very similar, but visually they do read very differently. So, you know, the grand millennial trend definitely favored a lot of prints, florals, pastels, a lot of melding of different colors and patterns to really create, you know, the look. They both have a lot of um, classic elements to them. However, their approaches to those classical elements are very different. So while the grand millennial style uses these prints in a colorful and playful way, the coastal grandmother style design emphasizes a much lighter and monochromatic version that feels a lot more laid back. And I think when you think of a coastal style, you know, you're embracing some of those nostalgic pieces with that coastal vibe and the coastal vibe is very chill. So how do we incorporate this style, this grandmother coastal style into your space? Well, it's all about using a neutral color palette. You want a mix of antiques and modern pieces and textures like mohair, linen, boucle, and nubby knits. Nubby knits. <laughs> That's anyways. It has a maximalist quality to it. However, it's a lot more edited than the grand millennial vibe. So this style does have a maximalist quality to it. However, it's a lot more edited and way more curated than the grand millennial vibe. Some of the items that you'll find in this look include white linen curtains, overstuffed sofas, warm fireplaces, honed marble kitchen counters, copper cookware, and handmade ceramics. When you're designing this look, don't go too literal with it. 
So when we're thinking of coastal, you know, you don't want to do kitschy coastal. We want to have nods to the coastal. So maybe a beautiful painting or a coastal inspired color palette. So, you know, think of colors like airy blues, creamy whites, and soft toned golds. But it's really important to note that blue is a big staple in this color palette, as is that neutral backdrop, just like with coastal design. But you really want to add a touch of luxury through the use of golds in this look to really have that more luxurious vibe that goes with the coastal grandmother look. So the secret to nailing this trend is a simple measured approach. The trend really leans into slow living and life's small moments. Fresh flowers are an absolute must to bring in some color and cheer to really bring this look together. So although short and sweet, I feel like you'll get a good sense of how to achieve this look. The images really do tell the story. And if you liked this video and you're curious, maybe you haven't seen the Grand Millennial style, I'll link that video next so you can jump over and check that one out. Until next time, bye.